well, we tend to get a little weird and a little wild on our Sunday live streams. And uh, sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to buy things. And uh, that was true last Sunday. <laughs> And one of the things we bought has arrived. This is from White Mountain Knives. Go check them out. If you haven't heard of them, what are you doing with your life? I don't have a discount code. I wish I did. Somebody help. Justin, help me out, dude. What do I got to do? Who do I got to call? You? Probably. Probably you. But what is in this box is actually a Tucson. And it is only the third ever Tucson I've ever owned. Uh, I mean, obviously, I have the, the Vandal. Love them knives, the big gnarly foot-long button lock. Gotta love it. But this is a more reasonable uh, Tucson, and one that I've actually been interested in. Like, visually, I like the way it looks. You'll see why. Uh, packing peanuts, per usual. I always reuse these, so if you get packages from me, you can blame Justin for the packing peanuts. Okay? It's not my fault. Don't blame me. Blame Justin. I just use what I am given. And there she is. Let's get the uh, peanut box, the peanut gallery out of the way here. Come on. Okay. All right. That's fine. Great. Thank you. Okay. As I blast the microphone several times. All right. Traditional Tucson packaging. Nothing fancy. Nothing crazy. Um, good old Yang, Yang, Zhang, Yang Zhang China. It's a thick boy. It almost doesn't fit in its packaging. It's like bulging out at the sides here. It just says 204 on the end of it. Uh, cool, but we're gonna pop slip slide that on out of there. Let's leave that in in frame shall we and then up oh, it just pops right out just falls right out She's she's thicky. She's a thicky. Oh my god. How many bags? That's right. It's here. This is the Tucson Bronk, I don't know if that is the official name or not, but I like it. It's very greasy. I need moist towelettes to deal with this. Um, real quick, the most attention-grabbing thing about this knife is that pocket clip. What in God's name is going on here? Nobody told me. Oh, that's annoying. That's so annoying. Okay, well, first thing I'm going to do is pop that clip off and bend it in. Because that is going to drive me up the wall. But uh, interesting clip design. So we have a G10, I believe, back here. Or micarta of some kind. Looks like G10. Maybe micarta. I don't know. And then carbon fiber bolsters with a nice little red accent ring. Big old gnarly stainless titanium backspacer. I have no idea. I have no idea. I'll look into it. Blade to handle ratio is actually really good. It just looks goofy because there's a violent dip right at the tip. Uh... It's a thick freaking knife. Um, I just unboxed this like 10 seconds ago. This is the Chavez Sangra Street from many moons ago. I am in love with it. But they're about the same width. These are two girthy boys. So if you've ever handled a Chavez, you know they're chonky boys. This is a chonky boy. Uh, nice though. Fin finish is good. There's no seam between the uh, bolster and the rest of the handle. Clip's my only real complaint. Doesn't wiggle. Hardware. Looks like all T8 to me. Flipper and a flipper only. So let's pop her open. Okay, D10's very light. Hold on. It's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad at all. That's why I bought it. Right there. That warning. That is a nice looking Warncliffe, man. You gotta love it. It is... It says it's S90V, which is another... God, dude, they just lube these things up, don't they? I can't... <laughs> There's so much oil on it. What are you doing to Jesus Christ. It has been a long time since I've unboxed a factory fresh Tucson. There, it's just got globbed on there. There's just a half a gallon of lube on this thing. It's like they just took it by the blade and dunked it into, like, a tank of, of like, motor oil. Is what it feels like. At least my hands will be uh, moisturized, huh? But a nice-looking profile. Thick, 
hearty, chonky boy, very chody like. But uh, it's a nice looking knife. It, it, very few Tucson's really, really speak to me, and this was one of them. So I'm, I was really pumped to see that uh, Justin had these in stock, the White Mountain Knives. So if they're still available, I will link them. Um, well, let's check that action. Running on bearings. There's some grit right here at the top, right here. Oh, can you hear that? Well, not that, but this. That's nice and gritty. Probably just blow her out. Um, but detent seems all right for a flipper. You can you can reverse flick it. You can not thumb flick it, at least not when it's covered in oil. But okay, you can kind of reverse flick it. Ergos, nice. It's a thick boy. It's not very long, but it's so thick that it really fills the hand. Nice finger choil up here. Choked up feels good. Choked back feels nice. Pinch grip, nice, lovely. Access to that uh, liner lock, which it is a liner lock. Again, I don't know if it's titanium or not. I have no idea. I'll, I'll let you know in the description. And anyway, this is not even a full review. This is just the unboxing. But that being said, a really nice knife. And I think these are like 120 bucks. S90V? What? I've heard iffy things about their S90V heat treat, but you know, whatever. Factory Edge feels great. Factory Edge feels really nice. Nice belt satin finish on that S90V. Excellent looking grind lines. I'm so confused. So this box says 204 on it, but the blade says 207. So, uh, yeah, dude. I don't know. Look, I'm, I'm not a doctor. Action feels good. As long as you get past that weird grittiness. Hold on. Let me. Okay, well, I hit it with the canned air and it didn't seem to do much as far as like this area right here. So I may have to take it apart and clean it, but action, once you get past that little spot, is nice. Oh my gosh, that thing's coming down. We could probably zoom out to show you this better. We? Who's we? I think there's just like a piece of metal in the, the detent ball track on the blade. Like a little piece of shrapnel from manufacturing. But that being said, nice and snappy. Feels good. When it's dried off, you can reverse flick it. But before we cut something, we got to try something. This is a quick stud. You've heard me talk about them before. But obviously, the first thing I'm going to do with a flipper-only knife is... Yeah, boy, slap a quick stud on it. Ooh, baby, like a damn glove. Crank her down. This is one I've filed out, so of course it's going to fit. This this is like the one I filed out so much that it'll fit everything. Okay, is that is that secure? Honestly, doesn't look half bad with the quick stud on it. Reverse flick? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, all day. Thumb flick? Money. And now, all of a sudden, oh god, it's a fidgeting beast. Love it. Beautiful. Alright, let's cut something with it. Uh, I, have an old, uh, I have an old Boker ca uh, catalog I've been chopping up, so uh, that's what we're going to use today. Not the usual phone book paper, but it cuts well, and it's kind of finicky, so it's a good judge of a decent factory edge. Like I said, it feels good, and it looks good, but oh boy, it works too. Holy mama seat. I gotta tell you, Tucson does a really solid job with their factory edges. Again, this is only my third Tucson. But, I... I mean, I'm impressed, man. F basically a full flat grind. There's a small swedge up here. But, basically a full flat, man. Nice and thin. Decent stock, though, right? tip is a little dainty but it is a worn cliff a worn a sheep's cliff i don't know you, i don't know what it's called i don't care but it is super slicey and choked up that choil works excellent sweet well there it is the tucson bronc or the tucson ts either the ts 207 or the ts 
204. It is a Tepe design. I could have told you that earlier, but you know, I did. So get off my back. I will fix the clicky clip that really bothers me. But other than that, a little cleaning, a little wipe off. Man. Okay, sweet. Tucson Bronc in the house. This is not, you know, this is not the full review. This is just the unboxing. There will be a full review sometime within the next month or so. Hopefully, we'll see. Um, plenty of pretty pictures on my Instagram, so be sure to follow me there. And uh, I guess all that's left to say is until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye uh, now.